poop, poop. Oh, hello. We're on our way down to Dorset today. He just wants me to go on the planes. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding. I'm not going up there. Just having our usual argument with the sat nav. Proceed to the route. <laughs> I love we did have a Tom Tom Camper Max sat nav before until it went a bit strange. Sat nav screen seems to have broken. It's not even 12 months old. We got that because you can put your vehicle dimensions into it and we thought it would help us to avoid routes with tiny little lanes too small for a motorhome. But we found it made no difference at all. It still sent us down little tracks, so we just went back to using the phone sat nav. Ignore all those crazinesses. Do you guys have this problem too? Turn left. No. <laughs> No, that's a stupid game. Yeah. Locking and locking and kicks us in about one mile. Take the exit onto the A35. At last, an A road. That better. Hello, Pete. Turn left onto Kings Road. Yeah, today we're on our way to Charmouth. There's the pickup on her tuffet. We're going to stay at a little campsite. Or. Sea Down. Sea Down in Charmouth. Whereabouts are we, Millish? Know. <laughs> We're somewhere interesting. In Devon. We're in Devon. Look about out there, there's things. <laughs> and out there there's more things. <laughs> and in here, there's a valise. And there's a bee. And there's a pickle. I do. Oh, now we're in Dorset. Oh, wow. Here we are, entering Charmer. Pretty little houses, but it's quite misty. Oh. Over the hill. Pretty right little thatch cottages. Oh, that's nice. Going back there, sweetie. Got to get tilt. Turn right onto Bridge Road, then arrive at your destination. Oh, so we're nearly here. God, we're quite close to the centre, though. Yeah. Oh. We're by the fire station. Oh. I can see it, Sea Down Holiday Park. Yeah, oh, we're nearly there, Pixie. Oh, they have got a shop. Oh. Wood fired pizza here every Wednesday. Oh, oh, oh yeah, we're going to miss it. Okay. We arrived and checked in. The ladies at reception were absolutely lovely. A really warm welcome, which is what you want. Pitch number 71. Driving to our pitch, we can see the site's not too big. There are a lot of static caravans here, which I guess you can buy or rent. The river Char runs down the edge of the site, and there's a little river walk on the site, which looks great for dogs. Charmouth Beach is a really, really short walk away. There are a number of hard standing pitches, and they open up a lot more grass pitches in the summer. Our pitch was backing onto the static caravans and had a great view of Stone Barrow Hill, which we'll take a walk up tomorrow. So, time to get set up on the pitch. We start with deploying the levelling legs. It's not very unlevel. What's wrong, little pea? Don't worry, don't worry. level. After hooking up the electrics and filling up with some water, we got the coffee on the go for a little chill before checking out our surroundings. Mmm, coffee. The pickle needs a little chill out too. Let's get him. So now we'll give you a tour of the site. Starting with the all-important toilet block, you've got to make sure it's clean. They just have the one toilet block, but it's well situated so as not to be too far away from any of the pitches. <laughs> I'll show you what it's like. You're supposed to have a key, but this one's on the latch. They give you a key for a £10 deposit when you arrive. You can see it is incredibly clean, very nicely done. There's a seating area barricaded off from the shower, so it's not going to get wet. Lovely shower heads and the toilets are very clean. We don't seem to have any disabled toilet facilities on this site, though. Come on, please. So down here we've got four grass pitches. Oh, there's a boat home service point just here. It does have a drive over drain, so there's a slope path down. That'd be lovely in there on the grass pitches they built. A big bank up, it'd be lovely in the summer. 
it's got easy and everything. So and in here you've got playing field, tennis court, and a volleyball court, and a ping pong table, picnic benches, and there is a very, very scary bin in the shape of a bear, which the pickle is not happy about. She might woof at it in a minute. There she goes, <laughs> she's in the bear. Oh dear. Oh dear, it's a very scary bin. <laughs> There you go, see it's okay, well done, good girl. And there's the river going all along here. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Deep water, no swimming, child supervision required. Yes, sensible advice. Here's the river. And this is the river walk, which they keep so beautifully maintained. Absolutely lovely. There's more pictures on the other side of that bank. Grass pictures for the summertime. It heads this bit off. I think they need to do a little bit of work on the bank there. It's just eroded a bit from the water. I've even got poo bins along here as well. So it's ideal for dog walkers. Charmouth on the hill. And down there to the seaside. There's Melv up there on the top. That's a funky old camp. Yeah. Wow. Oh, it's a fiat. That's so funky. Back to the help. Film the step and everything. Pickle needs a bit of help sometimes jumping up the step. Oh, not today. Emily, yeah. what are you doing? I'm making a very, very easy, lazy tea. I am frying the tofu in the coconut oil to make it crispy. We were supposed to have stir fry tonight, but in our haste of packing, I forgot all the fresh vegetables, so we've just got the quinoa and tofu. <laughs> crispy. <laughs> That's all ready. So what are you dishing out there? Quinoa? Yeah, it's mixed red and white quinoa, just a uh, microwave packet one to be easy. I'm going to put about half a tablespoon of tamari sauce. It's like soy sauce but really really concentrated. Oh and I'm gonna put some crunchy onions on the top because that makes everything taste good. They're the Polish ones they Emmy. You might also be able to hear the fan go which is our blown air heating system because it's going to get a bit chilly. And voila! That's <laughs> beige food. Mmm, <laughs> mm, yummy. Good. We enjoyed a lazy evening in Melv and an early night. Tomorrow we'll check out the beach. Smoothie for breakfast. French for smoothie is smoothie. Milk, yogurt, bananas. Peanut butter, peanut butter, cocoa, that's all I think. I put in about six spoonfuls of plain yogurt. We're doing the Michael Mosley diet, so that's where we started having smoothies. Bananas are actually quite high in sugar, so we don't have them very often, but have them for a treat. I lost count, but looks about right. Mm. I don't know if it's all going to fit in this receptacle. Might have to just have one banana. Okay, don't need any added sugar because banana is sweet enough. But two, two dessert spoons of cocoa and one tablespoon of peanut butter. All oh, oats, oats. Just like a handful of oats. It's Michael Bowley. It's low carb basically because I became diabetic. You never actually get rid of it, but you go into remission. So I did manage to do that. I've put on a bit more weight now, but I could lose it again with this diet. We've been doing it for nearly three years now. It works really well for us. It's time consuming to do the preparation, but it's worth it to get rid of the diabetes. Don't make a noise. It takes a lot more blending than you think, so if you think it's blended, then blend it for about three times as long. You don't want to be doing that too early on a camp site. <laughs> you can only do it on electric hookup at the moment because 
We've got our blender from home, but we have seen a really good rechargeable blender we want to get, so then we can have smoothies wherever we are. Oh good, I managed to get rid of the lumps this time. Yesterday we had it, it was a bit lumpy because I under-blended. I don't like lumps in a smoothie because it's meant to be smooth. Nobody wants a chewy smoothie. Cheers. Mm. You ready? Yeah! Let's go to the beach. Thank you. Come on, people. We show you it's only a really short walk to the beach from this campsite. It's practically on the beach. Mm. You have to go across the grass though to get to the beach from the site. You can probably go out of the site and go to the beach without going on grass. We go down a bit of a slope here. Thank you. You're gonna jump down there, Pete? Okay. <laughs> and it's just down there to the beach. So that's the river walk. It goes all the way up along the side of the campsite. Now we're going to just walk the rest of this little bit of field and we'll be on the beach. So nice to be able to get there without having to go on a road. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, don't have to cross any roads. Very child and dog friendly. Dogs must be on leads at all times though, which is only fair. Yeah, Kiva doesn't mind being on her extender lead. Oh, here come some ducks. <laughs> What's going to happen here between the ducks and the pickle? Are they on the grass? Yeah, they're coming. Here they come. What are you going to do, pickle? <laughs> they're friends, lovey. They're friends. Oh. <laughs> they're friends. Good girl, that's it. Oh, such a good pickle. What are they doing? Look at you. See if we've got bread. Friends, Come here. Hello, ducky. Yeah. Hello, ducky. Oh. <laughs> 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 we haven't got any bread, I'm afraid. How is this There's more down there in the river. Over the bridge is um, dog friendly beach all year round, but on the other side, going towards Lime Regis, it's only between certain months. I'll put them on the screen. So you can see it's a really, really short walk from the campsite to the beach. Now let's have a wander up that hill and see what we can see from the top. You can see all the campsite down there from Stone Barrow Hill. Yay! <laughs> what a good girl! It's a great view from the hill. You can see round to Lyme Regis in the distance there. The coast path goes from Charmouth round to Seaton and all the way to Bridport and it just keeps going. In theory you can walk all the way around the coast of Devon and Cornwall on the southwest coast path from Minehead to Pool. An awesome gate. You can make it look like the boats are on the sea. Yeah! Yay! Wow. We are in Charmouth in Dorset on the south coast of England. Yeah. The Jurassic Coast. Jurassic Park. <laughs> There's dinosaurs in them there hills. Down here on the beach letting the people have a good lunch and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's great actually, it's a beautiful beach. <laughs> it is lovely, it's really nice to get away. We haven't been away for a little bit, it's been so busy. So many things happening in the world of Bonjour Motorhome. We've been asked by a couple of subscribers if we would do a video about setting up on pitch. Yeah, campsite basics. Yeah. So like Ehu and water and how we fill up and all the rest of it. We did do tank sanitisation. Sanitisation last time. If you haven't seen that, please give that a watch. We show you how not to do it. How not to do it, most definitely. <laughs> <laughs> what 
what a great time we had in Charmouth, but the night was going to bring some dramas. Well, here we are in Melv, the last night of our little stay in Charmouth. We're just about getting ready for bed. We went to wind the skylight in and a bit of a disaster happened. The handle broke. Um, we couldn't wind it up or down and it was stuck. It still is stuck. So, well, we Googled what to do and some people said that there were some screws underneath the fascia. So we started to pull this fascia off and it came all the way off <laughs> with it's quite suddenly and it fell down and it scared me in the pickle, especially the poor pickle. She's very worried about that now. She's saying something's wrong with the motorhome. It was falling apart. And so I've just had to tape it for the moment with some bin bags because it's just stuck at this angle. Uh, it's going to rain heavily tonight, apparently. So hopefully the rain won't come in. I've, we're going to have to drive home tomorrow, a bit like that. So, I mean, the hinges can still open up, so the roof could still fly up. And when we're driving along, so I've got bungee cord and some webbing. I had and some cable ties and I've hooked it all round the hinges and put it round these brackets that were holding the fascia on. So that should hopefully stop the skylight from flying open as we're driving along. I'm not going to say the holiday's ruined. No, it's not been ruined. We've had a really good time and we're lucky that it happened here now when we are not, it's not blowing a gale. It's not snowing. It's not minus 10. We can cope. We wish I shall hopefully keep the rain out with that <laughs> bin bag solution tonight. And uh, we'll think tomorrow what we're going to do. We're looking for a solution. We may have to replace it. Maybe it's just a little part that needs replacing. But we will let you know what happens. Hi, I'm Malish and I love travelling in our van. You have to go left a bit. Hi, I'm Zoe and I'm severely sight impaired, but I still love going out in Melvin the Motor. What are you doing? Hi, I'm Tifa and I love Pickle. <laughs> Hello, I'm Melvin the Motorhome. And together we want to travel the world. And we hope you join us on our adventures. 